pretty excited today because uh, it's a three day weekend in Japan and today's the third day and I thought it would be rained out from a big typhoon that's just passed through. Got the rest of the day, the sun's coming out, I can go into the mountains and work on my Kakamigahara Alps trail running project. This is an ambitious project of mine to take my little scythe and hack away at all the branches and overgrown grass and everything that's blocking the trails. This is kind of unexpected. Uh, there's, this is not usually a river or anything. It's only because of the typhoon last night that uh, there's any water here at all. So the other day I was up here and I hacked, hacked away this corridor. I mean the trail was already here but it was so overgrown you couldn't really pass it so I hacked away this corridor. Uh, it's probably about two kilometers to the top of the mountain. That's where I want to get to today. It's taken me about an hour, but I've uh, made it back to where I left off last time. Well, I'm getting closer. It's taken a little, little longer than I would have liked. Uh, you can see the Kakamigahara Alps behind me. I just passed another hiker. It's uh, extremely rare to find any other hikers on this trail, at least uh, off the way I just came from. And uh, he's going that way, and I, I told him with glee that I'd cleared the trail. He seemed quite happy. I think I've done as much as I can do today. It's gone five o'clock, the sun's starting to go down and uh, I haven't got far to go. It's funny, it's just uh, it's starting to become slower and slower progress as uh, the trail is more and more overgrown. Um, but you know, I'll come back soon and I'll finish up here. I'm gonna push through these weeds and whatnot to the uh, top anyway. Five hours of swinging my arms at the bushes. <laughs> I've made it to the top. Uh, I will come back soon and finish the job. <laughs> 